You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Lundy for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you the next Lundby dollhouse item in our series here. And I do have to say thanks to Lundby for sending us this item. This is the outdoor set, which changes from your regular set to a winter scene. Now you're getting this section here. You're not getting all the extra items. That's not included in this particular package. And as you can see, it looks like it slopes down here. You've got a little wind drift here where your snow sits. And then snow-capped brick or stone wall now with these new wrought iron black gates. Let me turn this around here. And then here is another set that you can get, which is the skis and a snowman and snowballs, which I have right here. So that's cool. I'll be able to set that one up for you today. And then let's see. Let me change my camera angle there just a little because i got to get more in here. I've got this set here. This is a kitchen set and it has some cookie pans in there, a gingerbread house, and aprons, and another little present. And then look at that. I now can change my whole family into their winter clothes. So I'm going to move them into the house now. And then I have two other bonus items which I'll show you later in the video. So when I come back, I'm going to unpack this. We'll take a look at it and I will get it all set up for you. Okay, here we go. I do like to show you how everything's packed. So everything's in these plastic protectors because you see the snow now. It's got a soft feeling to it. And then let's see, this box has all of the panel pieces for my walls. I will take one out for you. This way you can see it. It's got a nice soft edge there. Pretty cool. And then the rest of the panel pieces should be in here. So they're just laid in there, and then I'm not sure what this is actually. Probably more panels, but let me just open it up and see. I mean, more of the fencing. And they always give you a couple brochures in there. Yep, more of the fencing. So that's what's in that one. And then the second big piece. That's really it. And that's the instructions. So this shouldn't be too long to set up. So when I come back, I'll have this all out. And we will get started and set it up. All right, here we go. They have one section of gate in a box, so you can know that that is the left side. And then this is the right side, so those are set. Now look how big my little snow drift is that's on the side. Now it's hard to see with the white, so I'll try to shadow it later. Now I need to get this put together. This is three pieces. Here's your screws. So I will move them out of the way. And I will get started here. So they actually show it to you the opposite way when you flip it over. So you kind of want to move this over here, take this out, and move this over here, okay? And this is just going to fit in between the two sections, and you see exactly where the screws line up, okay? There we go. And now this one in. So there are eight screws that I see in this section. So being that it's not level on one side, you should probably just easier for me to hold this, set some screws in place, and then I will put them in one at a time. So I'll do a few here for you now with my tool. Remember I have it set to not. Once that's together now, it should be easier. Okay. And this is all the instruction sheet, which I will show you in just a second. Let's see if I can do it this way. That's the one thing about a magnetic bit. It will grab your screw, so sometimes it's easier just to put the screw on and knock it off. No, I'm just kidding. And sometimes it is easier to use a regular screwdriver. Especially with small screws like this. Let me see if I can get them pushed in there, partially started. Okay, these two are ready now. Hold it. There you go. Okay. And uh, well, I'll just continue on, come back when this is all together, and then I'll flip it over for you. All right, last one is going in. And now I can flip this over. 
Let me see, I get them all eight screws. Yes, I believe they give you an extra just so you have them. Okay, so that is set. Look at my rolling hill. There's a little openness here, like platform. Kind of where the patio area is. Now looking at the gates, let's take a look. I haven't studied them, but it looks like this gate is going to be my first gate. Let me just kind of temporarily see. Okay, so there's pins on the bottom, and those line up with the holes that are in the base. This might take a little bit to get this with all the little extra white that's there, but let me just set that there and make sure I have it. Then there's going to be one that's your corner piece. See, that's your outside corner. So that one's going to go here. I might have to study this just a little bit more, and then these are just going to go along the side, okay? Now I have to figure out the best way to line all these up, so those go there. And then now in front, this gate here. Looks like they line up, but I might have to clean the holes out. Oh, see, that, that one went in pretty good. Then the outside corner is going to go here. It sure is fluffy. It feels fluffy. This side went in a lot easier. Do you notice that? Okay. Maybe it's just all how that first one starts and lining it up just right. I could be off just slightly and that's what's causing the issue. Aha! That's a good feeling when it makes that click sound. There we go. A lot going on over here. Let me push some things down so you can see this whole side. Okay. We're almost there. So what I'll do is I will make sure this is all set when it does look like it. It's nice to see all the white staying on so nothing's coming off. I was a little worried that it might come off on my hands but it's not. All right, very cool. My new entrance to my dollhouse. Oh, I like how those just swing back. All right, so when I come back, then what I'll do is I'll move this out of the way and then I'll go over each set that we're gonna be adding to the house. All right, I decided to do the family first so we can check them out. Now remember you guys, well, hopefully many of you voted and picked the set of names because we have Scott, Michelle, Alice, and David. Those are the ones that won out all the other ones, and it was close. Here's Dad. Let's see if I can just get him to stand. And Mom. Come on, Mom. Tilt Mom just a little. There, Mom's tilted. Her hat looks a little messed up, but I'll try to fix that. There you go. We can see your eyes. Okay. Little Alice looks like she's got a vest in yellow. She's decked out in yellow with a nice yellow knit hat and then little Davy that's me little Davy hey ma what's going on we're looking pretty snazzy aren't we yes dear dad can we go sledding yes son no problem all right so that's my family let me give you a little closer shot so you can see them all I'm not going to try to turn them at this point because they're staying all right so when I come back I will check out the next set with you all right, this is the next set I was getting getting it set. It's just easier to take out like this. Okay. So we have a pair of skis in red. Okay, and then the ski poles. Another pair of skis. They say Lundby on the ends, very cool. And a set of poles. What looks to be like a backpack with a couple thermoses in there, something to drink out of. And some food for nourishment. And then a sled. Cool little red sled. With a string to pull. So now Dad can pull little Davy. Whee! And a pile of snowballs. And these snowballs actually light up. So we'll check that out. And then my snowman. Here, let me see if I can give you... A closer shot, a tighter shot of everything. I like to see if I can get you as close as possible so you can study those details and take a look at everything. A lot of times you'll see me just moving things. It's probably because I'm just trying to give you different perspectives of things, you know. Do these come apart? They do. I got a piece of tape on my finger.
Okay, my snowman. Pretty cool. Let me close this one up. I will come back then and show you the kitchen set I thought we'd add in there. Maybe I'll show you one of the two bonus items. So I will be right back. All right, I just cut the tape, thought, well, let me open this whole one then video for you. Now what I've been doing is taking an object. I just happen to have scissors nearby and kind of just pulling that lip up. Now they don't all open this way, but it's nice when they do because you can just pull that apart. And everything's in there. Looks like Alice and Michelle both have an apron. But then again, I like to bake, so that's going to be Davy's apron. Okay, Mom and Davy are going in the kitchen. Looks like it could tie around them too. And then you have these little cookies. It's like a box of Lundby chocolates. Look at that. So cool. A present. Now we've seen a symbol of one of those in the last set we did. And then a gingerbread house that lights up. Very neat. And a couple trays. I gotta pop them out. See how nicely everything is light in there? And I just ruined all the cookies and heart-shaped cookies. Did I say rolling pin? Well, there it is. It's all packed real nice. See how nice it stays in those plastics when they're like that? All right, let me do that. Okay. I will put those all back, the plastic pieces anyway. So you can take a look at that, pretty cool. I'll have to plug in all the gingerbread house and that stuff. And I'll tell you what, let me show you one of the bonus items. So let me move this back to the dollhouse before we get started. And let me show you a bonus item right now. Okay, well, to actually set up my kitchen correctly, I wanted to make sure I had a table and chairs. I decided on the blue set. I've got a green set, but thought the blue matched the floor better. So these are cut. I have this ready to go, so I get a nice little table. It's almost like a sunny room kitchen set. And then it had two little cats, so I thought that would be cool to add them in. The cats have moved in. So a place for mom and dad. And then the kids, it's like a like a bench. Okay, and then little little kitty cats. You stay right there, little kitties. Don't wander off. The dogs are out. Now this is the kind of packaging a little harder to get into on these. So you're hearing a lot of crinkling because I'm trying to. Ah, there we go. So this set's gonna go in. Bet you'd like to see that close up, and I will show you that as close as possible. Pretty neat, huh? The kitties, a little table and chairs, so that'll go in the kitchen. This way I can put the, you know, the kitchen stuff that I just got, you know, on the table. So like they're working there as well. Okay, and then one more bonus item. Let me just move this out of the way. I can leave it because it goes in the living room, which I didn't have at the time. In regards to, I forgot I had it. Okay, I'm cutting the packaging very carefully off to the side. Now this is a different packaging altogether. It's just out like this. Okay, I've never seen that. And in it is this big bookcase with all kinds of neat little accent pieces. Look at that. I almost just want to leave it like that. I might. I think I'm going to leave it in the plastic just because it's easier for me to move around right now. And then it looks like you've got a book on butterflies, young readers, modern art, different countries, Lundby houses, Asia. 1,000 flyers, 1,000 flowers, sorry, a picture of a dog, picture of a cat, a little radio, and more books, and two little, maybe bookend puppies. So there you go. That is all going into the house, plus what I showed you already. So what I decided is it's going to be very difficult for me to put that piece in on video. So I'm going to move the house, put the new piece in so you can then see it in place, and then I'll set everything in. All right, this is the room that I finished on the last video, but I never really gave you a good close-up in there, did I? So I did a fix. I did a fix. I did fix the tree a little bit, moved some packages around. Now I'm going to leave everything in my bookcase because I think for me, moving things around is just the easiest way to do it because I wanted to put it over here off to the side. Okay, that kind of fills up the room a little bit. Now let's move over to the kitchen and get the table and chairs in there. All right, so I'm trying to do something a little bit different with camera angles so you can not see the whole back of my hand. We'll put this against the wall. 
Oh, oh no, dragging furniture across the floor. And then my table and chairs come in with a nice flower in the middle. This goes in here. Okay, and then I'll put this chair there. All right, that's really starting to take shape. So now let me bring in the kitchen set. All right, so I've got these cool little cookies. Whoa. Definitely a different camera angle for me. Put one on the table. My box of chocolates. How about I put that in the... Right on the bench. The kids will be ready to have a piece of chocolate. And then the aprons. I'll put one on the chair here for Mom. And one for Dave, right? He's cooking with Mom today. And then this package, I'm going to move down into the other room. And then I'll put a rolling pin way back here into the sink, all the way in there. Okay. And then my gingerbread house, what I'll do is I'm going to put it here for now. Not in front of the door. Here, let me put it here so you can see it better. I'll do have to do some reorganizing because I'm blocking a cabinet now with my bench. I just wanted to get that there for you. What I could do is here, here's what I'll do. I guess that's the fun part. You really just gotta move things around and see how it all fits, right? The bench could go here. Okay, so you come in the door. There's room now to get by the chair. This chair here. And then the gingerbread house by the window, see? Table. I'll have to plug that in for you in a second. I'll have to move it to another room temporarily. And then one more tray. Ooh, that's going to be a tough one. Let me see if I can just push some stuff by on the sink, the pasta and a the little. There we go. Fresh out of the oven. Okay. So now let's set up the outside area. All right. So I'm just getting mom ready. Her hat fell off. I'm going to put her on one of the chairs just because she's going to be watching the kids, relaxing, hanging out. Here comes Scott. Scott's all set. Ready to relax with the kids. And then let's get our snowman out here. I'd put it right there. What do you think? Right about there. Now the snowballs also light up, so I'll have to show you that in a little bit. So I'll just set them outside. And then I'll put I'll put me on the sled. Wee little Davy. And he'll be over here on the tallest peak, ready to go. Wee! Did you see him go? And then We'll put her, how about just by the snowman and the snowballs? And the backpack by mom, she's getting ready to go. And then the skis, here, I'll put those by the gate like they're getting ready to go on a little trip. Okay. I'm gonna come back now. What I'll do is I will show you the poles. You wanna just be able to, sh in the ground, right? Yeah, I'll just set them here like this. Okay, all right, everything is in. I think I got it all. So now let me just uh, show you the gingerbread house and the snowballs plugged in. All right, there's still some lighting on in the room, but you can see they both glow really nice. Pretty cool. Now I'll put them back where they originally were, but I won't be able to plug them in down there. And then kind of show you everything so far, and then just kind of, ooh, one more bonus item. That's what I'll do next. All right, I have something exciting here. Some visitors to my little dollhouse. I am opening the pack here, so I won't be able to show you that, but I'll be able to get the visitors out now. Okay, here we go. Guess who's coming to visit? Yes. It is... Grandpa. Grandpa! Wee! Hey, what y'all doing out here? And... Grandma have now come to visit. It is Christmas time and they are at the house, ready to enter the gate. So he opens it for Grandma, of course. He's very proper. There you go, sweetie. Thank you so much. Ooh, that door won't stay open, huh, honey? Yeah, just gotta, it's a little fidgety. A little fidgety. So what's everybody doing? We're going skiing, Grandpa. You want to come with us? Oh, I'd love to. I'll, I'll just watch. Uh, uh, yeah, me too. I'll just watch. It's a little scary for me. 
let's move over and talk to Scott and Michelle. I had to think there for a second what their names were. I forgot. Whoosh, whoo. Rappy's over here now. So uh, you want me to drive, son? Dad, it's okay. We'll take the Suburban. Load it up and uh, we'll have fun. Okay, everybody ready? Wee! We're ready, Ma! Yep, all ready! Let's go! Whoosh. And everybody is now going to go skiing. Check them out. So how about this? I will come back now after my little playtime. I try to get a little bit of playtime every time. Maybe once it's all set up, then that's all it will be, right? Okay, Grandma. There we go. Grandpa. He's looking mighty fit in his outfit there. All right, so let me take you room by room now. Okay, this is that sledding hill. Pretty cool. Watch. Whoosh, we Oh! Mommy, mommy! <laughs> it's okay, honey. Just get up and do it again. Okay, ma. Whoosh, much better. And here's the living room. Remember, I got the tree in there, the presents, the couch. I kind of reconfigured it a little bit. And then let's just finish up upstairs. The kitchen loaded with stuff. That's all the new items I put in there. Pretty neat, huh? And in the kids' room, I didn't show you last time close up, but there you go. And then everybody is outside. Grandma, oh, Grandpa's fallen. Mommy, Grandpa's fallen. Honey, he's okay. He's just taking a nap. Honey, that's not proper. Now get up. And that is my whole set so far. And there is more to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, probably next year we'll pick it up again and add more videos to the series. And as always, thanks for watching and supporting Lucky Penny Shop. And if you want to see the rest of the videos in this series and how this all started, there'll be a link there to a playlist. Or as always, you can search Lucky Penny Shop. Ooh, check it out. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.